So I wasn't going to do boxes, but shout out to Devil Toys for boxing unboxing. Hey everybody, Shadow Moses 112 doing a review on Devil Toys Ghost of Kurosawa. This figure was at the time of this recording 109 on Big Bad Toy Store. So let's take a look at this real quick. This guy just looks incredible from the shoes to the skeletal hoodie outfit to that stormtrooper Ronin samurai headpiece. Devil Toys is just amazing when it comes to this like awesome aesthetic. Look at those shoes. Amazing. With the Adidas shell tops. I chose to add this figure as a villain to my Devil Toys 2-pack that I picked up with the motorcycle. I'm not sure what shoes these are, but if you know what they are, please leave a comment down below. For 109, he actually comes with some pretty decent accessories. He's got the two blades over here. He's got a like red energy looking blade. He's got a little kunai. And it's awesome because if you, I'm pretty sure you're going to lose that to the carpet monster. This comes with four extra kunai in there. He's basically got three pairs of hands, two sets of shoes, two spray cans. Take a look at one of those spray cans now. Both of them look the same. They have the red top, predominantly black. I believe it says uh, Zinc Night Crew on the side. This blade looks awesome. And there's two of them. How cool is that? And they seem just slightly different enough. Awesome. This energy blade is something else. Look at that. That's actually a gradient effect on paint. There's no translucent part of the blade. Very cool. You've got two of these grabbing hands. Very cool stuff. Then we got two of these item wielding hands. On top of the fisted hands that he already comes with. I wish he would have came with some pistol hands, even though he doesn't have a gun. Going through articulation on this guy very briefly. Does look up pretty well. Down much better, though. He goes, arm goes way past 90. Of course, there's full range of motion on the arms. Bicep swivel in there. Legs can kick out pretty far. Ooh, over 90 degrees on the knees, which is amazing. Uh, I know you guys like to check ab crunch. There's a little bit there. I'd say more so being able to bend backwards. A lot of movement there. These are just awesome figures. Here you can see the ghost of Kurosawa next to Carbine in DX3. The only thing about these two, these are great also. I, I'm not downplaying it at all. These were white when I got them. And if you can see, just over time, got dingy. Uh, I keep my figures in um, archiving plastic bags. So it's a little interesting to see that they browned a little bit. But no complaints for me. They still look great. Just to show you how Kurosawa would scale with your G.I. Joe figures. Wants to fall back a little bit. And I also have Bartholomew Vex sitting around. So you can get an idea of what he looks like between uh, more of a true six inch line versus your um, closer to seven with your Mezco figures. Overall, definitely recommend nabbing this figure. Um, I think he has some very cool looks to, to him. 
Even the pictures on the Big Bad Toy Store site don't do this figure justice in hand. Um, you can see just the level of detail on the face, the clothes, uh, some of the accessories that he has. There's like a nice wash to everything. Definitely recommend it if you're into that Neo Punk, uh, Neo Tokyo kind of cyberpunk kind of thing. Although the price tag is 109 on Big Bad Toy Store, um, it's a little high for my taste, considering we could spend that on a Mezco and get tons of accessories, hands, you name it. Uh, but still, if you're into this kind of thing, I would probably put this at more of an 80, 75 price point. Uh, but the, the art detail on there, again, is amazing. Um, if you want to hear more of what we're talking about, we do YouTube lives every Sunday at 8 p.m. You can check out our website at shadowmoses112.com to check out the accessories and arcades that we put on on a regular basis. Or if you want to stay up to date on what we're working on, check out our Instagram at shadowmoses112. Catch you on the next review.